Hello and welcome. Today on Bardscraft I'll show you how to make potentially high quality flocking. So I've seen lots of guys using sawdust for flocking. The one we'll make today is different, perhaps better. The first thing you'll need is hemp rope or thread. It's cheap, so you should be able to find it for a few dollars. Begin by cutting many bits off the thread. The more you have, the faster you can do the next step. If you're using thick hemp rope, you don't need to cut these bits. There we go, that should be enough for my first batch. Next, take your bits and hold all of them together like this. In this way, you should easily be able to cut them with a pair of scissors. I hope your scissors are sharper than mine. Also, might be a good idea to place a container under, just a thought. Alright, so then you just work through as much material as you need. Just cut the rope into tiny fibers. Try figuring out what works best, short or longer fibers. Probably a mixture of both, I think. I wanna take a look at this now. Good so far. I wish I had known this method earlier. Anyway, let's continue with the cutting. Keep in mind this flock is not about efficiency, it's about resourcefulness. Instead, you could just spend an hour or so wage cucking at your job and then just buy the flocking. But where's the fun in that? Alright, slowly getting there. I think I'll make all of this in one color and then I'll cut more for different colored batches later. I place the flocking into a glass. To add color to the flock, acrylic paints work well. My goal here was to make an earthy dark green flocking with green and brown. Mix your flock thoroughly and make sure not to add too much paint. You don't want the paint to work as glue, clumping your flocking. I failed and did just that. However, the problem was fixed by adding more unpainted flocking into the mix. I then let it dry on a sheet of baking, never mind. After a while, work the flock through a sieve a couple of times. Because I used too much paint, I got these clumps that were useless. Still, I got enough for what I have in mind. In the next bright green batch, I got just the right amount of paint in the mix. It was much easier to do, and the final product was also better with the correct amount of paint. Good job. Are you impatient? Yes. Then you can work the flocking through the sieve while it dries. That's quite good, I think. Once you're done, place the flocking somewhere safe. I got these convenient empty baking soda containers. This should be enough for a few projects I have in mind. Let's test this flocking real quick. Here is a beast I found laying around unpainted and unbased. Well, you can be the judge of that. This is how the flock looks when dropped evenly from the sieve. I believe this is a good representation. Here I also realized that this green is perhaps too vibrant for common use. But no problem, I'll make more batches in the future. Well, what do you think? Is this as good as sawdust or commercial flock? It's slower, definitely. Anyway, let me know what you think, subscribe and like if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Here are a few builds you could use that flocking for.